Revenge Films. My sister and I looked nothing alike. My sister was really pretty and smart. She was really popular at school, and my parents loved her too. She got into a private university in the city. She lived in a big condominium my parents got for her. She even went on a one-year study abroad program while she was there. Then she got married. Her husband, Bob, graduated from one of the best schools in the country. A few years later, they moved abroad for work. She was living the dream. I got a job at a small local company. I got married and my husband started living with me at my parents' house. My parents were really happy that we were living with them. Then we had our first child. Life was good. Then one day my sister came home. I had no idea she was back in the country. My parents were really excited to see her. My husband couldn't take his eyes off of her. Then she said, we had to move again for work. This time he was going to a developing country and it wasn't very safe there, so he told me to wait for him back here. But then her husband's lawyer showed up. Turns out my sister was cheating on him. She was having multiple affairs and her husband wanted a divorce. No way, no way! She tried to fight it, but it was no use. She had to pay him for damages but she had no money, so my parents ended up paying for her. So that's why she came back. She had nowhere else to go. Then, things started to fall apart. After she came home, my parents stopped paying attention to me and my family. I was pretty upset, but there wasn't much I could do. And since my husband and I both worked, I didn't really have time to worry about them. But then, I started to notice things around the house. Why is this pillow on the floor? It wasn't like this when I left the house this morning. Oh well, it was probably nothing. Then one day, I got a call from my son's teacher. He said he was feeling sick, so I left work early to go pick him up. Sorry I'm late. I think he's got a fever. Mommy, my face feels hot. Okay, dear, let's get you home. Thanks for everything. Take care. So I headed home, but when I got there, I saw something I couldn't believe. What's going on? It was my husband and my sister. They were both naked in the bed. Ah, it's not what it looks like. But my sister was smiling. Oh, you got us. She was still smiling. I was furious, but I had to take care of my son first. So I got some meds out of the drawer and went to the next room. That should do it. I put my son to bed and went into the living room. Everyone was there, including my parents. Then mom said something I couldn't believe. Your sister likes him, and he likes her too. Why don't you get a divorce? What? What are you saying? This is ridiculous. Say something. But my husband didn't say anything. Then my sister said, I don't mind. He's actually pretty good in bed, so... Finally, I snapped. How dare you! I jumped on my sister, but then Dad got up and punched me in the face. I couldn't feel my face. I could taste the blood in my mouth. I had no idea what was going on. Did he just hit me? I started crying. Dad, why? Shut up! We don't even care about you! Just do as she says! We only let you stay here because she was living abroad! But now she's back, so we don't need you anymore! Get the hell out! Then Mom said, Oh, and take your ugly son, too. We got your sister now, so we don't need him anymore. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, and my husband didn't even say anything. He just stood there in silence, and my sister was laughing at me. I was devastated, so I got my son and left the house, but I had nowhere to go. I took him to the hospital, got some meds, and went to spend the night in a cheap motel. The next day, I hired a lawyer for my divorce, and luckily there was an opening at one of the apartments my company owned, so we moved in there. Then I sued my husband and my sister for damages. My lawyer was pretty good, he got me a big cash settlement. I never wanted to see them again, so I got that in writing as well. Phew, 
chapter was finally over. Then, about two years later, I ran into someone in the city. Allie? Bob? It was my sister's ex-husband. Hey there! How are you? How's your husband? I don't know what to say. I just looked down. Everything okay? Want to talk about it? So I told him about everything that happened. He was shocked. Wow. Just wow. I knew she was trouble, but I wasn't expecting that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks, but I'm okay. It was more than two years ago, and I cut all ties with my family. So what about you? You back here for good? Oh, yeah. I came back a few weeks ago. I actually started a company abroad. It's so good to be back home. I haven't seen my parents in a while, and the food is just so much better here. He was so nice to me, and I really enjoyed talking to him. Then, we started spending more time together. A few months later, we started dating. When he introduced me to his parents... You're a kind person. I can tell from the look in your eyes, said his mother. It made me feel really happy. Then, we got married. And his company was doing well. He was all over the media. He bought us a big house in the city. And now, I was pregnant with my second child. But one day, my family and my ex-husband showed up at our house. What the hell? You two are married now? This makes no sense. She's mine. Get out of here. Yeah, give him back to her. Yeah, this house is ours. Are you serious? You're the one that cheated on him in the first place. And you're married, aren't you? Get out of my face. Screw you. Your ex-husband is useless. You can have him back. Uh, no. You keep him. Look, you're not family anymore. Get lost now. Then they jumped towards me, but my husband stopped them. That's enough. Stay away from my wife. Oh, Bob, I missed you. Screw this bitch. Come back to me. Yeah, listen to her. Why did you even marry Allie? She's so ugly. You can do much better than that, son. That's enough. If you keep talking about my wife like that, you're going to regret it. By the way, I called the cops. You tried to assault my wife, so... Bob, please! Look how much prettier I am! You? Pretty? You're the worst person ever. I want nothing to do with you. What? How dare you! But then the cops arrived just in time. They tried to assault my wife. Take them away! What did I do? I did nothing! Why? Why? Ali's useless! How come she gets to live in a big mansion like this? It doesn't make sense! Then they got thrown into the police car. Turns out they were up to their necks in debt. They even had to sell off the house. And my sister had multiple lawsuits on her hands. She was having multiple affairs. Then all the neighbors and relatives found out about what happened. They all cut ties with my parents. They had no choice but to move away. My dad ended up losing his job, too. Apparently, they've been living out on the streets for a while. That's why they tried to take my husband away from me. Too bad that didn't work. Anyways, I'm just glad it's all over now. Time to move on with my life. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.